First, we're taking a look at whether cooperation between banks and payment companies across multiple countries can lead to more innovative payment solutions. And the question is how much this can benefit businesses, consumers and the payment companies themselves. The focus for those companies is real-time payments at lower costs with an increased security and with a structure that ensures competition and competitiveness. Well, I'm delighted to say we're joined by two people who are actively finding solutions to these issues. Lars Sjogren is CEO of P27 Nordic Platform. P27 is establishing the world's first payments region in multiple currencies, and he joins us from Stockholm. And Klaus Buchenborg is the CEO of Mobile Pay, a Nordic mobile payment company, and he joins us from Copenhagen. So, gentlemen, welcome to both of you. And Lars, if I can start with you first. You've been working with P27 for one and a half years. So can you tell us a bit more about your current focus and what you would identify yeah. as the most difficult part? Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, um, I will say that this is a... Uh, this is a, a, a three-year journey that we are on to in P27. We started actually a little bit more than a year and a half ago, but it's not a marathon. It is a sprint, and we're just in between that, where we take the visions and the PowerPoints down to, to practicality. So we are right now in the middle of the difficult year number number two, where we need to get, make sure that this actually comes live. So we are setting up the company. We are getting the, the all the permits you need to have clearing licenses, merger clearance and all of that, developing the, the solutions, preparing the, the market. So I would say it's, it's, a, it's a lot of activities that are ongoing at the same time in P27 right now. The Nordics itself, if you actually look at it, it's a very small region in terms of the number of inhabitants, that sort of thing. But you do have national mobile payment companies in Norway, countries like Sweden and Denmark, Finland. Is that really an efficient way to do things? And do you see no. that setup continuing? No, I would say that the Nordic region is, is actually very integrated. Uh, if we look at GDP, for example, at least... 25, 30 percent of the GDP is actually intra-Nordic trade. People have in most countries almost the same language and they travel across borders. And we have done a lot actually to try and integrate these uh, the, 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 the countries in the Nordics. At the same time, as soon as you cross the border, none of your favorite uh, payments products, mobile pay, or a Swish or whatever the name are, they, they no longer work. And, and when you do cross-border transfers, it's as complicated as doing it to, to the US or, or UK or any other company country. That is what we want to, to deal with and, and make sure that we build the world's first integrated region when it comes to, to enable um, cross-border payments as well, so that they work in the same way as a domestic transfer do today and reach the scale so that we can connect all the 25 million people that are living today in the Nordic region. That is the vision that we are that we are doing. And the way we op work together with the, with the mobile payment schemes is that our ambition is to, I would say, we take care of the infrastructure, providing an infrastructure that doesn't exist anywhere else today in, in the world to, to try and make life easier for the mobile payments companies. Klaus Lars has told us about P27, its perspective and its next steps. But how can mobile pay utilize P27? How, how do you see the collaboration with the mobile payment companies evolving? Uh, right now we have, I think, 13 different wallets participating. Uh, if all of Europe is to be covered, we need all the, the 30 or so that exist to be part of it. Uh, so right now we're doing some proof of concepts to uh, uh, evaluate whether cross-border transactions between the wallets can actually be done. And then we still need to figure out how we solve all the uh, legal and, uh, and uh, compliance issues that are involved in doing cross-border. But an initiative like P27 and other European infrastructure will definitely help facilitate that we can do cross-border transactions from all the wallets. Okay, so some grounds for optimism, optimism Klaus. Let's stay with you because I'd like you to explain to all of us why mobile pay has been able to make Denmark one of the leading countries in the world in terms of payments by mobile. I mean, clearly there is a secret. Would you care to share it with us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, it, and it's actually a very basic secret. Uh, it's all about simplicity. 
it's all about uh, removing all the friction that there is in payment from a consumer's perspective and from a merchant perspective. So making payments very, very easy and only focusing on you know, making the, the user experience as simple as possible. So our, our average user spends seven seconds on doing a P2P transaction, and that is one of the secrets from uh, behind our success, is that we've taken everything away uh, that is not needed to complete a transaction. And from a merchant point of view, uh, in Denmark, for instance, in a small country like Denmark, we have more than 100,000 merchants on our platform, uh, and they don't need a card terminal. So we've taken a lot of hassle out of their daily lives as merchants in order to accept payments from, from consumers. So it's all about simplicity and then, of course, utilizing the infrastructure to make the payments uh, instant. Lars, how, how is it going with the development of services on top of the P27 platform? Yeah, but it's actually making making a lot of progress right right now. And, and because when instead of having in the Nordics today, we have nine different legacy clearing uh, settlement platforms and by sort of replacing all of those with, with one future proof resilient platform, you can actually build very interesting services on top of that platform. And, and P27, we are working on what we call so layer two services. For example, right now we are in the middle of developing a, a Nordic direct debit solution, which will make it possible for, for corporates and, and consumers to actually reach uh, the, the entire the entire Nordic instead of just having one scheme in Sweden, another in Denmark, a third in Finland, and so on. So, so we are making a lot of progress there. We are also developing and looking into other types of, for example, transaction monitoring solutions. These days, where we are being challenged by you know all sorts of I would say bad behavior. Let me put it like that. Actually, where we need to to from the financial yes, side. Take, do our part to make sure that we have safe and sound financial markets. So, so that is another part of where we are looking for P27 to make a true difference. And then obviously what mobile pay can do on top of this and what other fintechs can do on top of P27, I would say, that is, that is for the future to show. But when you have a true instant cross-border multi-currency platform, I would say it's only the, the innovation capabilities that set that set the um, the boundaries for that. So, so for us, this is this is an excellent opportunity. Speaking of those capabilities, a question for both of you: with P twenty seven up and running, um, and the mobile payment companies constantly progressing, would the Nordic region be able to become totally cashless, perhaps within, let's say, five years? I would say for all practical purposes, yes. I think from a political side, there will always be a push to have you know, some cash capabilities uh, for elderly people and, and uh, uh, that need that. But uh, in practical uh, daily lives, yes, we will become cashless in, in a few years. Uh, I definitely believe so. Okay. And I would completely agree to what Klaus is saying. And for all practical purposes, we are close to cashless already today because if you go to restaurants and hotels and and also stores quite often today you you meet sort of only card uh, or mobile payment solutions are accepted so i think in in sweden and denmark and other countries norway for that sake also we are practically cashless already today and that also puts mm. extra responsibility on the, the financial market to provide resilient um, infrastructure actually to to make sure that, that um, the, the payments flow also in a cashless world. Okay, so an interesting prediction going forward in the next five years. Gentlemen, we have to leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us. That was Lars Sjogren, CEO of P27 Nordic Platform, and Klaus Onkenborg, who's the CEO of Mobile Pay, Nordic Mobile Payment Company.